visually inspirational, in complete awe of nature. That's one way of describing our trip in the Philippines. Welcome back for another adventure with us, Benny and Mika. We've committed to a long journey with an idyllic island as our destination. It was nothing short of a mission, but the rewards were paradise. The journey consisted of multiple ferries, buses, and tricycle transfers between ports to reach our end goal. This is Sikibul. A tropical haven where waterfalls claim the hearts of many visitors, and coral reefs leave you feeling like you're on set in a nature documentary. It's here where we felt wild back to our roots. Alrighty, we are here. <laughs> Day one in Siki Hall. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how excited I am. The weather is incredibly hot. It's a little bit sweaty, but we've got so much on offer on this tiny island. And we're gonna show you everything that we get up to. These are all delicious jackfruit. So we found another entry in, didn't we? To Sanagung Beach. We did find another little entry. We're gonna go and have a quick explore down there and see if we can go for a swim before we go to the butterfly sanctuary. Fingers crossed, because it's that hot. <laughs> right, so we ran out of water. Thank goodness I have Ben with me. Oh, don't tell me this is the coconut you got. These, I think we might go thirsty people. Good job, that looks so good. I so pulled down one of the froms. <laughs> ants everywhere. <gasps> That's right, I dusted them off. That is a decent sized coconut, holy moly. The trick I think is just gonna be opening the coconut. Looks like you're getting close. I am getting close. Once I get this bit of the husk off, the actual coconut bit is right here. Well, I get a nice little bit so we can from it. Instead of a pool boy, I've got a coconut boy. I feel like we're on like an island of survivor. <laughs> you are gonna survive with me. <laughs> That's all the water there. That is so sweet. <laughs> a little bit husky though. It's sweeter because it's your own victory. <laughs> oh, so we just soaked in a heap of the salty, sweet air. We've had our coconut. We're gonna jump on the boat now and go to the butterfly sanctuary, so let's go. Goodness, look how big these caterpillars are. That is so cool. I can hear it. Chomping? Yeah. I'm loving this. <laughs>
Oh, so we just had a really nice breakfast at Shaka. <laughs> it's a chain all around the Philippines and they have the best smoothie bowls and how picturesque was it? It was on the beach. It was so beautiful. It just made us so much more excited to be going to Tubod Marine Sanctuary, which is where we've arrived now. It's a very picturesque ride down a pretty wild little <laughs> dirt road and you walk through the little bit of jungle to the beautiful beach where there's lots of little boats. The locals are so lovely down there. They show you all the information that there is to know about the place that you're about to go diving into. I'm so ready. Let's go. Something about the locals that we love is that even during the busiest periods, they're always smiling and effortlessly happy. I hope I'm saying it right, waterfall here in Sikio. It is absolutely incredible. We are here before the opening time, so we have the whole place to ourselves. The water is so blue. There's little palm trees and beautiful green canopies and bamboo. It's absolutely incredible. This is like the number one highlight of Sikio and why most people travel here. And it's totally worth the wait, the anticipation and the long journey to get here. But because we are so early here, no one's here to like let you go out on the raft. It's all tied up at the moment. So Ben's gonna send the drone up and we're just gonna have a little poke around, maybe have a swim. And then when the guides get here, we can do some jumping and rafting, which looks really cool. Oh my goodness, this has been the best time. The jumps have been absolutely epic. If you come here, you have to do the jump because that makes it the best time, doesn't it? It's been so much fun. It's been probably three or four hours now, I think, since we've been here. I think so. And there hasn't been a dull moment. <laughs> All of the locals as well who work here, the guides, they go on the swings and they literally take videos and they call themselves human drones. And it is the funniest thing to watch. Everyone's up for a pose, families, locals are here. It's awesome vibes. But yeah, the water is so refreshing on these hot days. It is so refreshing. Like, it's, it's been pretty hot lately. <laughs> <laughs> So we have come to a place called Lagan Falls. It's a lot quieter compared to the waterfall where we were just at, Kampuan Falls. And yeah, we pretty much have it to ourselves. There's two other people here. You do get a guide. It's 50 pesos per person and 10 pesos for parking. But it's so quiet. It's so beautiful. The water is just crystal clear. I'm going to get in for a dip because it is so hot. <laughs> Back off, I'm going to show you. 
We spend the next few hours swimming, <laughs> swinging and jumping in this little oasis. <laughs> to say this island is incredible would be an understatement. Over the last four days we've been chasing waterfalls, snorkeling through the beautiful coral gardens and meandering our way along the tropical coastline. Our research had led us to believe that there were some cool things to experience here, but we had no idea we'd be leaving still wondering what other natural gems this paradise had on offer. I guess we'll have to wait until next time to find out. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode of Benny and Mika. Bye! Bye.